I'm rudging out demons and this is my quick guide to uh, cleaning um, Sega Master System cartridges um, yeah pretty simple really but anyway so I've got this moonwalker that's in absolutely shocking state as you can see we've seen this before I think in some of my other videos but anyway and um, basically it was a far higher cartridge if you have a look so we got four higher so I'll zoom in hopefully maybe okay anyway so it's a four higher cartridge so it was it was basically it's, it's seen it's seen better days now I've got this lovely little kit here which basically contains pretty much every screwdriver you could think of for Super Nintendos and and everything else now this is a, a this is a four and a half mil um, sprocket that will actually work with the uh, the master system cartridges they've all been tested and all work so very handy anyway so we're going to take this apart there's only two screws on these things so if I just move that out of the way so you can see what's going on we're just going to take this apart. So screw screw this one. And come on, almost. There we go. One and a second one. Here we go. And we're free. So we've unscrewed this, and now the thing should just come apart because it's just a clamshell it splits apart into two like that and then we have our actual ROM here I'll just move this out of the way slightly and I'll bring this up for you so you can see that the contacts on it are pretty dirty you can see how they've been in and out of machines lots of machines in fact lots of people's machines um, so you can imagine that it's sometimes the contacts don't quite make the connection that you'd quite like from them. So so we basically we're, we're in that situation. So there we go. We got our ROM and we're ready to go. So what we need now we need some of these good old cotton wool buds. Then a bit of this, which is just an alcohol. Um, in this case, it's just a nail polish remover. To be honest with you. Um, so we've got an al alcohol here. And what I'm doing is I'm just dipping that cotton wool bud into my alcohol now. And then we're going to rub it on these contacts. And with a little bit of magic, this should start shifting the muck that's on them. You can already see it going actually. Starting to shift away there. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. What a difference. Look how mucky that is. Getting the muck off it there. Yeah, there we go. Much, much better. Okay, keep it on going. Getting it nice and clean. Some of the scoring, of course, is from going in and out of machines themselves, but of course this is making the contact itself a lot cleaner. Um, you could even do that bit if you wanted. <laughs> okay. Wow. So much dirt coming off there. Absolutely awful. Right, I've also got one side here. I've got just a, basically a, um, some bit of kitchen towel, route towel or clean cloth, and I'm going to make up my lovely white... tablecloth in the process here of course and we're just going to rub that off that excess alcohol anything that's left any residue from from what I'm using and look at the difference you can actually see that you can see that shining there wow look at that what a difference in comparison to what it was like so We'll give that another. I'm going to I'm going to dip the other end of this, I think, because that's a bit dirty now. So we're going to dip the other end. And we'll flop it, flop it up, switch it over on the other side, which looks an awful lot worse if you notice. So I'll just get another dip of this, and we're going to give this a rub down. Not really needed to do that part, but we'll do it anyway. Might as well keep your contacts clean inside your uh, master system, to be honest. There we go. What a difference. Gosh, look at all that mug coming off there. You can see the end of that tip. Look at that. Wow. This has seen better days, this cartridge. I've said this before when I was I was looking at it, but it definitely seemed better days. It was bundled in with the master system that I built, well, purchased. Um, I'm guessing they must have bought it cheap from some kind of rental store when they, when they bought the, the master system. So, let's have a little look at this. 
Yeah, let's give that a wipe down now. Oh, you can see the difference. Look at that. Wow. Look at the shine. Fantastic. All that residue off as well and all that done like that. So, that is our cartridge cleaned. Um, you can't put it back in the wrong way. It won't let you. So you can only put it back in one way. So we'll put the cartridge back together again. And it literally just drops together. It's really, really uh, smooth. I quite like the the, the the facility there. Look at the state of this. Gosh. We've had a good we've had a damn good cleaning session there, haven't we? We really have. We've cleaned absolutely oh gosh, so much off it. Years and years of dirt. It's probably never been opened. So um anyway, we'll just bung this back together again. Um, haven't done anything without the uh, sticker on the front. We need some kind of we need some kind of um, sort of goo gone or something similar to to remove that sticker that was on the front there. Um, or do we leave it for authenticity? I think we'll probably take it off to be honest with you. And the car the carriage itself needs a bit of a, a bit of a clean round, but there we go. That's our cartridge, which could really do with a bit of a clean. <laughs> much better than it was and there's our moonwalker cartridge and it's ready to go so what I'll do now is I'll show you a bit of footage from my from my lovely warm walker cartridge as it's, as it's, as it's now been repaired anyway um, I've been your host Real Genetic Demon enjoy the footage um, if you feel the need uh, please uh, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video bye bye now